Hi, my name is Neha Madela. I'm 11 years old and I'm in 6th grade at Detroit Country Day School. Right now I'm standing in front of the Detroit Institute of Art, America's second largest municipal collection of artwork. It houses over 65,000 works of art and is collectively valued at over $1 billion. It's listed on the National Register of Historic Places and includes various genres of artwork from modern art to prehistoric art. The, De the Detroit Institute of Art also also is located right in front of Woodward Avenue, where a historic car, the first car driven by first Ford Motor Company, was driven. Right now I'm standing in front of the Renaissance Center, a seven interconnected building that has been the tallest since it was constructed in 1977. The Renaissance Center overlooks the Detroit International Waterway, an important waterway between the U.S. and Canada. Right across the river, there's Canada. I'm standing right next to the Detroit International Riverfront, a, a land, a, one of De Metro Detroit's most important landmarks, conducting vital operations, surfing operations between the U.S. and Canada. The Detroit River also contains the Detroit River Wildlife Refuge, the only wildlife refuge in all of North America. The Detroit International Riverfront is between the U.S. and Canada. There are tunnels that connect, that connect Windsor, Ontario and Detroit, Michigan over there. The Detroit International Riverfront is also home to the Detroit International Wildlife Refuge, which is the only wildlife refuge in North America. It's also home to the North American Auto Show and it extends from Belle Isle in the east to the Ambassador Bridge, uh, Master Bridge in the west over there. It's about 8.8 .8 kilometers. Right behind me is the Ambassador Bridge, North America's busiest border crossing. It, connecting Windsor, Ontario and Detroit, Michigan, it brings in $13 billion of revenue per year to America. It handles about 10,000 commercial vehicles daily and is accountable for one-fourth of the international trade between the U.S. and Canada. Right now I'm at Belle Isle. To my right is Canada and to my left is the United States. At 982 acres, Belle Isle is the largest city island park in the U.S. and it's listed on the Na National Historic Sites Re Register. Right behind me is the Ambassador Bridge. If I could travel to any place in the world, I'd travel to Nepal, Bhutan, and the Himalayas. I've always been fascinated by the mountains, and I'd want to maybe climb them myself. When I grow up, I would like to work for Doctors Without Borders, which is an organization where doctors go and go to places with high need or in areas with recent natural disasters or poverty. I would like to work for this organization because it combines two of the things I would like to do when I grow up, travel and being a doctor. If I were put in charge of the earth for one day, the first problem I would solve is education. Because education does more than just educating people, it empowers them and allows developing countries to develop and become developed countries.